I'm in salad and I got issues. I got issues with flying sparks. More specifically, I got flying sparks. A sparks chapter one. So I'm gonna do this in the salad method. S for story. A for art. L for lettering. A for action. And D for drama. Okay, so pretty much the story goes like this. We're following two people actually. Johnny is a is like an arts guy. He's an art dude. He's like giving art to cl big rich dudes. And then we have. What is this chick's name? Did I never grab this chick's name? I never actually read her name. Uh, I know she's Meta Girl. Meta Girl is like her art, uh, her like superhero name. But if I I don't remember what her like real name is, so I don't even know if that's even said or anything. It wasn't like excessively repeated, so I don't remember her real name. But uh, we do have Meta Girl. And we got Johnny, and this story flips between the, their two perspectives, and the, the way you can tell that is the lettering. I'll go more into that in the lettering section. Actually, she's very new to this. She's not experienced in it very much. She has a lot of gear, and she, like, flies. And then Johnny's setting up this art deal, and Meta Girl and Johnny are actually dating. It's like, cool, they have a little nice talk Oh no, I hope you get good with your investor. Hope your investor does good. Yay, hopefully it does that. And then like page flip, it's a um, meta girl talking with her girlfriend about that Johnny might be cheating on her. Like, I don't know if he has a job. I don't know if he if he, he's doing his job awfully a lot, man. I don't know, man. I hope I hope he's not cheating on me. Stuff like that. And then we have Johnny talking to like a clerk at a coffee shop. The coffee shop that he owns is like, do you do you wonder what she does all the time? Studying a lot, a lot of studying. Cause they're both like shady about their own um about their own selves. And so now we get the what's gonna happen. We get an introduction of the man who is making Meta Girl's gear. Gear, that's what it's called, gear. And then we also have a look at Johnny doing the deal. And it turns out that someone gave him a stolen painting from this client. And he's about to give this painting back to the person that uh, the painting was stolen from. And of course, there's a gunfight. Pum. Oh, before we see, we before we see what's about to happen, we see we have Meta Girl. She's like talking to Meta Dude, and it's like Meta Man. Meta Man is the name. Meta Man. Meta Man. Why you got your name from Meta Man? That is so unoriginal. Not gonna lie. But then there's a whole fight. But he ends up just having the art piece, and they're both fighting these uh, dudes. And the way that it's the panel and the pages are set up. I like that contrasts what they're doing at like the same time. Like they're both fighting at the same time. And it reveals that uh, Johnny has these electric powers. It's like, whoa, he's got some really fierce electric powers. And then they have a little bit of a kiss and they meet at the very end. And that's nice. And so that's the story of chapter one. So I overall enjoyed the story. The story, it took me, it was a rocky journey for me to get into the story because, I mean, it's interesting. I like this opening shot, but just the the way that the, the panels are from, from like the blue to like uh, the bubbling. And I was like, how do I read this? And then like, why is it green and blue? Oh, it's because it's the different characters in their internal dialogue. So that took me a little bit of uh, a little bit to understand. But once I got past that, I was like, okay, I'm enjoying this. So the art, you know, I like the art style. It's it's serviceable. It's, it's all right. The colors are all right. It's nothing too, I wouldn't say the fanciest thing in the ever, in the ever at all. But, you know, I actually, it's serviceable. It fits, fits, you know. I don't, I'm not distracted reading it at all. There's not like too much detail. I'd actually say, there's more detail on like characters' faces than there are in the background, which personally, I like a lot more detail when it comes to like characters' facial expressions. And there's a decent am amount of that, which is all right. Overall, art is very serviceable. The colors are all right. I mean, they don't really speak out to me really. 
the lettering. Okay. I mentioned the lettering just a little bit. We got the blue. We got the green. Uh, blue is Meta Girl's like internal dialogue. Green is Johnny's internal dialogue. And the placement of the bubbles, right? I'm tempted to read immediately to the bubble and then down to this box again because of like reading it from left to right and then down. So I'm not sure if this is supposed to be read then th- this way, then that way. I always want to go like this way because I'm an American. So there's a lot of moments where I'm like, what am I supposed to read first? Am I first, am I supposed to read like for this one example, am I supposed to read this first or am I supposed to read this first? Because this is a little bit more um, left in the panel. So I'm thinking logically this one, but maybe it's this one because this is higher up. So there's like stuff like that. I'm like, I'm not sure which is I'm supposed to read first, but that's just a nitpick, nitpick because it doesn't really uh, make it hard for me to understand the story. It's not like confusing. Uh, overall, it's pretty readable. It's readable. It's all right. I enjoy it. There's a good automatopoeia. Blam! Blam! Cool. There's like a limited amount of automatopoeia, except for like crack, crack. And when it comes to the, um, what is it called? Impact. There's a good amount of automatopoeia. Action. I'd say whenever there's fighting, there's action. Obviously, when it comes to action, there's like probably 50% of this chapter is action. It starts with a pretty action-y opening. It's like, oh, wow, Meta Girl's fighting a dude. What is going on? And then it's like it kind of drones, kind of chills into establishing the world that they're living in and the type of people that they are outside. Like the type of person that Meta Girl is outside of being Meta Girl and the type of person that she is with, who is Johnny, is a very successful businessman. So actually, 25% of this is action. But the drama, there's a good a love, a good amount of drama here. We have Johnny and Meta Girl are thinking that the other person is cheating on them within the relationship. But they're both just have superpowers, and I find that to be very fun. And then the drama between the art buyer slash the person who got the art stolen from them and Johnny very tense there's a lot of tension there i like the tension built in that scene a lot and then the end the very very end where we have johnny and meta girl are just together again at the end it's it's nice it's pretty nice overall i i thought this chapter is is exciting it's a serviceable chapter i enjoyed it honestly just just the bubbles just the bubble thing has got me like reeling the most about this so I give the story, this story is like a solid, it's like a 3.5. The art is like a 3.5. The lettering is a 3.5. The action is a 4. And the drama is a 4. So what is that? Uh, oh boy. I don't know what math is. 10.5 plus 8? That's 19.5 out of 25. This it's a 19.5 out of 25 and that's been men's got issues i'm in salad and i got issues i'm in salad and i got issues oh yeah those are good because all the jingles hits now there's not a